Sun. Once upon a time, seven little goats and their mother lived happily in a sunny little town. The seven little goats walked merrily to school every day. One day, their teacher talked to the students about famous structures built by the Spanish architect Antoni Gaudi. Teacher, what does architect mean? An architect is a person that sketches the blueprints of the buildings we see around, such as houses, schools and hospitals. They follow some construction rules and make sure the buildings are safe. Kids, did you know that Gaudi used nature as inspiration for his buildings? He designed the interior walls of buildings resembling three bark and spiral stairs that similar to that of a snail shell. Teacher, I'm curious about these buildings. Where can I find them? These buildings are in Barcelona, in Spain. After school, the little goats returned home and their mother greeted each one with a kiss. One of the little goats shared what they had learned about the Spanish architect. Mom, can we go to Barcelona? All right, kids. Let's all go on a weekend trip. Yay! The seven little goats were so excited about their trip that they couldn't stop talking about it everywhere. All the townspeople, as well as the wolf, heard about the little goat's trip to Barcelona. They set out for Barcelona on the weekend. After the car trip, they left their luggage in their hotel room. Mother Goat gathered the little goats around her. Our first stop is Architect Gaudi's Park Güell. Let's go! As the little goats followed their mum, the last one walking in line thought he had seen the wolf in the hotel lobby. When they arrived at Park Güell, they visited the buildings that seemed to be made of sugar and cookies. They strolled happily in the terrace that resembled ocean waves made of colourful glass and tiles. While the happy goats roamed around excitedly, the wolf in disguise offered an apple from his basket to one of the little goats. The little goat, however, recognized wolf's hands and ran to his mother. The wolf knew then that he couldn't easily fool the little goat. sweetie oh he's gone that's weird never mind mom the next stop was artist Salvador Dali's house which had been turned into a museum one of the little goats noticed an artist among the crowd painting in the corner and thought it was the wolf wolf took advantage of the crowd and tried to put the little goat into his satchel The bad wolf once again had failed, so he ran away. This wolf doesn't give up. Let's be careful and not get separated. Yeah, he went grew a moustache, thinking we wouldn't be able to recognize him. Where are you, kids? Don't go far. Remember, evil wolves can be anywhere. 
There's nothing to be scared of, Mom. We took care of it. <laughs> Let's go inside and view the artworks. Tonight, we're going to see a flamenco show. We shouldn't be late to the hotel. After the museum, Mother Goat and the little goats returned to the hotel and got ready to see the show. What kind of a dance is flamenco? Dancers try to express their emotions through the tapping of their feet, intricate hands, and body movements. They wear special costumes. Yes, yes, colorful dresses, but mostly red. I'm curious. We'll see them tonight. Come on, let's hurry. In the evening, the little goats went to see the show, not knowing that Wolf would be there too. When the show was about to start, the youngest goat suspected one of the dancers was Wolf himself. Mom, look! Shh! Be quiet, the show has started. Mother Goat didn't recognize Wolf and watched the show delightedly. The youngest goat went backstage to expose Wolf. One of the little goats saw his brother leave, so he followed him. While dancing, Wolf watched the little goat's every move. So when he saw him enter the backstage, he exited the stage, still dancing. Wolf caught the goat and quickly put him in his satchel. As he was about to escape, he ran into the second little goat, who followed his siblings. I know who you are. Oh, do you now? Then tell me who I am. You are the bad wolf. Let go of my siblings. No way! You'll have to catch me first! <laughs> At that moment, Wolf got back on the stage. The little goat, who was trying to blend in with the dancers, spotted his mother and siblings among the spectators. Mother Goat was engrossed in the show, but got surprised when she saw the little goat dancing on the stage. Oh no! What's your brother doing on the stage? Yeah! That's our brother! And the one dancing and holding the satchel is the bad wolf. At that moment, the rhythm changed to a quicker pace. With a big thud, Wolf tripped and fell down in the middle of the stage. His wig fell off his head. The little goat got out of the satchel that the wolf had dropped. Mother goat stood up in a state of nerves. It's bad wolf! Get him! Mother Goat and the little goats ran onto the stage and began to headbutt Wolf. Oh, 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 my back, my feet. Oh, oh, oh. Bad Wolf escaped again. Let's try to forget about this incident. It's been a tiring day. Let's go to bed. Good morning, kids. Guess where we're going today? Where, Mommy? Where? To the statue of Christopher Columbus. Who is that, Mommy? I'll tell you about him once we get there. Christopher Columbus was an Italian sailor, explorer, and colonizer. He crossed the Atlantic Ocean, sailing on his ship, and discovered new places. The American continent is one of them. 
How interesting. What an adventure. I'd like to explore new places too. Meanwhile, Wolf was in a Christopher Columbus disguise. None of the goats recognized him. Wolf hadn't given up and was still after them. He approached the three little goats walking in the back and distracted them by talking about ships and the ocean. Come, I'll show you my ship. Yay! <laughs> Excited, the little goats followed Wolf. Wolf boarded the ship with the little goats. He removed his hat and wig and made himself known to the little goats. We will set sail and you cannot escape now. <laughs> The little goats jumped and caught the sail. The mainsail spun in its place and around the mast. Due to the goat's weight and pushed Wolf into the sea. You beat me again. But I'll never give up. Mommy! Help! <laughs> they made me board the ship, officer. I'm innocent, I swear. <laughs> I hate getting wet. <laughs> We watched everything from the surveillance cameras, Pet Wolf. We know you're lying. I'm so sorry. Please let me go. I won't do that again. Forget it. You'll get your punishment first. For two months, you'll be picking garbage on the shore. No! I hate getting wet! <laughs> Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondasan and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.